The United States obsolete stockpile of chemical weapons was destroyed in 2023, a disarmament milestone decades in the making. The two remaining sites, Colorado and Kentucky, completed agent destruction operations in June and July, respectively, honoring a commitment to the Chemical Weapons Convention and a commitment to community stakeholders to use alternative technologies. The Program Executive Office Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives, or PEO Aqua, was responsible for safely eliminating the remaining stockpile and is closing the plants while protecting the workforce, public, and environment. We're destroying old, outdated, dangerous chemical weapons that makes this community safer to live in and to raise a family in. In Colorado, the Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, or PCAP, destroyed the stockpile at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot. The original stockpile consisted of more than 2,600 tons of mustard agent in projectiles and mortar rounds. In the main plant, robotic equipment and skilled technicians destroyed the munitions using neutralization followed by biotreatment. In October 2022, an innovative solution to advance efficient destruction, improved cavity access machines, were installed to process the last munition campaign, 4.2-inch mortar rounds. Meanwhile, three static detonation chamber units destroyed a portion of the mortar rounds, as well as the difficult-to-process projectiles. The Bechtel Pueblo team operated PCAP and will close the facility. Since agent destruction operations began in 2015, the Pueblo team completed three different munition destruction campaigns. Working with the partners at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot, the stockpile was safely destroyed on June 22nd, 2023. Seeing, you know, just how much we're contributing to actually making the world a safer place makes me pretty happy. Meanwhile, in Kentucky, the Bluegrass Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, or BGCAP, destroyed the stockpile at the Bluegrass Army Depot. The original stockpile consisted of more than 500 tons of mustard and nerve agents in projectiles and rockets. At BGCAP, trained technicians and automated systems also use neutralization as a primary destruction technology. In July 2021, the Bluegrass team began using new rocket non-destructive examination equipment to examine every rocket for potential problems, an innovative solution to avoid processing delays. Plant operators say this evaluation helps keep the plant running smoothly by identifying rockets that may need special processing before they're disassembled and drained. Meanwhile, two static detonation chamber units supplemented the main plant by processing drained rocket warheads and rockets not suitable for processing in the main plant. Bechtel Parsons Bluegrass operated BGCAP and will close the facility. Since agent destruction operations began in 2019, the Bluegrass team completed five different munition destruction campaigns. Working with partners at the Bluegrass Chemical Activity, the total stockpile in Kentucky was destroyed July 7, 2023. Both PCAP and BGCAP are supported by the Aqua Headquarters team at Aberdeen Proving Ground, Maryland, and the Aniston team in Alabama, which also operates a static detonation chamber. Aniston supports both sites and is destroying non-contaminated rocket motors. Working together as one team into the closure phase, safety remains the highest priority. That's what's been implemented into every employee out here, safety first. You know, take our time, you know, we want everyone to go home to their family safe. Safety is our primary goal. Completing this noble operation is important to the U.S. to protect these communities that stored chemical weapons for decades and to contribute to the global mission of a world free of chemical weapons. We are very, very interested, vested into making our commitments and seeing them through. This project is important because we are destroying chemical weapons that can be never used against humanity. And it should never feel like, oh, I'm going to be sad that it's over. It should be, okay, we're celebrating now that we are making the world a more safer place. 
than what it was before. And I can say that I was a part of that and be proud of it.